Oh, just working out. How's the marriage? It, 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 I mean, do you see counselors or anything? <laughs> it, uh, are there issues? At, oh, it, it looks good. At least for the next year, this is going to be well. Uh, so we we've been friends for a very long time. Carl's been on the board for five years. I've been recruiting him for all that time for five years. You know, I did my job as founder with with my my partner Dave. Got it from zero to six billion. But honestly, the next level, we need a better CEO. And so we're going to overlap as co CEOs for a year, and then in a year. Carl's going to take over, and I'll move into uh, an executive chairman role. So you've, you've done a lot of different things. So this uh, this is just adding to your expertise. I think you can bring in expertise from a lot of different uh, businesses. Yeah, I believe so. Um, you know, the first 29 years of my career was in an operating role, and then the last seven have been with Sequoia as a venture capitalist. And uh, during those years at Sequoia, I spent you know a number of years on company boards, including Anil's for the last five. So when Anil approached me about joining him as co-CEO, uh, I said, I think I'm ready to do this back into uh, an operational and leadership role. And I'd say the first month has gone quite well. No fights. We get along. We understand our swim lanes where we're both good at different things. And uh, I couldn't be more excited about that. You see these the guys as, as the year starts going by and they're getting close to where they're supposed to. And you never know what they might do, though. I mean, is, you got this in writing with the, with, with the Neil Carl? Or? Yeah. <laughs> Interestingly enough, as part of the announcement of me joining as co-CEO, uh, Neil and I and the board decided we were going to put a stake in the ground and say one year out we were really? going to transition so it's to a sole CEO role. But he's not going far. Uh, I'm going to keep him around. He's going to be the exec chair of the board, and he's going to focus on what he's best at, product and technology. And I'd be foolish not to want him around as long as I can. Yeah. What, what's next level look like, Anil? I mean, you've gotten to this level. What's next level? What has to happen? Well, our original target was to get to $10 billion in revenues. We're coming off this year. We'll be over six. And now with Carl, we've got higher aspirations. I don't, I don't think there's a finer operational leader in the entire software industry and, um, you know, to be honest, I took it as far as I could from an operational level. Well, what does that mean? Is that a product thing in, ter in terms of getting that next place? Is that new pro a different product, new product? Is uh, that just so different, different markets that you don't think you're reaching right now? I'm going to go back to focusing on products and technology, which is my right. background and my strength. Uh, it's, it's a lot of just running the business and in particular the go-to-market mm -hmm. side of the business. So new markets, new industries, new geographies. There's, there's nobody better than Carl. We're post-pandemic. We're back. We're here in Davos. I, I, I'm fin You know, China's got a deal. I, I, I wish them uh, well. Uh, I, I, I worry about what's going to happen. But I do want to move beyond that. There have been times, and, and it was a horrible global situation, but there were certain aspects of it. And I'm just wondering whether you look back and think those were some halcyon days for, for, uh, for cloud companies, for, for take your pick, whether it's Zoom or Peloton or whatever it was. Did, did you over uh, expand at that point? Is that is that partly explained why now you got a downsize? Well, you know, I'm older and I've been through a lot of recessions. And uh, so we're not downsizing. So when COVID started, we went on a hiring freeze for the first eight months while a lot of other companies ramped up. And so when we came out of COVID, we were actually behind on hiring. And so, uh, you know, we're always looking to optimize and Make sure we have the right skills. So no one's, you're not trying to, to rationalize operations in any way for employees? I would say but. optimize, not rationalize. So there are certain skills, like we need more AI and ML developers. We might need less of somebody else, but we're going to, we're adding headcount. Will some employees year. get caught up in your optimization efforts? Yeah, they, unfortunately, yes. Uh, but, but we're going to add several thousand new heads this year.